Hello and welcome on the video on sampling variability. I did my own video just on this concept because it's very very important and it's a fairly simple concept but you just have to make sure that you really know it. Okay so let's start off with what we're doing. We just learned simple random samples so we have this population and if you watch the first video you know what a parameter is okay so a parameter is a characteristic about the population in general and statistics th this is them mu okay which is the mean the standard deviation of the population that's what that is that's the little sigma we have p which is the true per percentage or the true proportion of the population okay who would be in favor or it would be positive for the outcome okay and we have this that we would do at the really really at the end of the year which is the slope of a linear regression line and we have this guy right here which is alpha which is the y-intercept of a of a uh, least square regression line okay so these kind of are together okay these are kind of together and this is all alone okay so now what sampling variability is is if I reach in here and take an SRS, take an SRS of any size, of any size n, okay? Now what happens here is if I take an SRS, my sample, my sample should be a good representation of the population. So here we measure statistics. And statistics, which would be x bar, which is the mean, s of x, which is the standard deviation, p hat which is the percentage the the percentage of successes from the sample okay and then little b which is the slope of the least square regression line and little a which is the or let me let me do it the way the book does b1 which is the slope of the least square regression line and b naught which is the y inter or which is the y intercept of the line okay so i'm not to sampling variability yet Say I take another sample from the same population from the same size using the SRS. Okay, so I'd, this would be N1. That's the first sample. This is N2. Okay, this is the second sample from the same population. Okay, so let's say just for um, to put an example of it, let's say there's 1 million. Okay, there's 1 million people in my population and I, and I go ahead and take 50 out. Okay and I take 50 out okay and I go in so so I think that you guys would agree that that no matter what okay so so x bar is the mean of these first 50 so I'll call it x bar 1 and I don't know what this is okay but you would agree that if you take a whole nother 50 out okay if I take 50 out from here and I take 50 out from here that that these 50 people are di probably different than these 50 people because there's a million people. So most likely, these 50 are different from these 50. But what do we what do we know? We know that these 50 should be a good representation of the population, and these 50 should be a good representation of the population. But do you think these two x bars are these two standard deviations? Okay, are these p hats? Okay. Do you think that they'll be the same from sample to sample? Well, no. They're not going to be the same. Okay. Could they be the same? Yeah, they could be the same. But most likely they're not going to be the same because these 50 people are totally different than these people. And if I reach in here and take another one, okay. Now later on, we're going to be dealing with all these types of problems. It's either x bar, standard deviation, a p hat, or, or okay. So this would be x bar three, s of x three, p hat three. Now all of these x bars will be different. They may be close to each other. They may be close, but for the most part, they're going to be different. Now when things are different in statistics, we call that variability. Okay, so that's what sampling variability means. 
It's the differences, it's the subtle differences or big differences from sample to sample. So the, the sampling variability are the differences from sample to sample. It's very, very important. We're going to use this concept a lot later in the, in the, in the year. The differences, okay, and these are from our statistics because when we take a sample, we get, we get statistics, which are all these guys in here that I'm interested in. And if you're sitting there and you're not sure what P hat is, okay, so P hat would be, in this case, if we took 50 people, it would be the number of successes number of success out of 50 okay so in general p hat is the number of successes over however many you pick this is the proportion of successes out of the sample size out of n okay where p is the proportion of successes out of the population which would be everybody sometimes you don't necessarily know how many people are in your population Okay, so sampling variability, very, very important. Is it a bad thing? Is it a bad thing? No. Okay, can you avoid this? No, you never could avoid sampling variability. You could control it. You could, you could make these closer. Okay. You could decrease. We can decrease sampling variability. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's always going to be there. Okay? There was one way to do it. Okay? And that's by increasing N. Increasing your sample size. And we're going to get into why of all that later. You may be able to see it now. Okay? Because the more people you pick, the closer you're going to be to this parameter. Okay? That should be kind of common sense. If you take five people, if you take a sample of five people, Okay, if you take a sample of five and you try to estimate mu, okay, with x bar, mu is my population. So I'm going to use this from a sample of five. Well, five, you're taking such a small amount of people that this, this x bar, okay, might be really far from mu, okay? But let's say out of these million people, if you took a thousand people, if you took a thousand people, that x bar is going to be really, really close to mu, okay? It's called the law of large numbers. And if you take a thousand people, that's going to be pretty close. So from X bar to X bar, if you take a thousand people, that X bar is going to be really close to each other. If you took five people, this X bar might be really, really far from each other. And we actually have actual numbers. And we're going to do this all later and get into more detail about sampling variability. But anytime you hear sampling variability, you should know that it's the differences from sample to sample. Okay, one last question. What do you think is worse, bias or sampling variability? Okay, and it is bias is worse, okay? Because this is going to happen whether you like it or not. This is going to happen. Whether you, whether you sampled good or bad. Well, technically, even if you did an SRS, even if you did a good or S, SRS, sampling variability is going to happen. Now, what happens here is bias is when we have a bad sample. And what is a bad sample? A bad sample is when the sample, the sample individuals don't look, do not look like the population individuals. Okay, so the sample individuals are n not a good representation. I'll give a quick example. Okay, I want to know how, I want to know the average SAT score the average SAT for a high school, okay? I would say uh, your high school. And uh, average SAT, so what happens here is I want to, I don't take a good SRS. I take all the people from my AP stats class, and I get their scores, okay? Now, if my population is the school, in my sample is my AP stats class, what's going to happen? Okay, are we going to have bias? Yes, we're going to have bias. Because this is going to, you know, I'm trying to do mu, which is the average SAT score from the school. I take a sample, 
and I'm trying to get the average SAT T school SAT score for the school. But what happens? This is this is higher than than it should be because people in AP Sats tend to do better. So if I would get the sampling frame and take a correct sample, we would get a good variety of people. Some might do well, some might not do so well. Most people may be average. So anyways, sampling variability um, is just the differences from sample to sample. Unavoidable, not bad, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.